everybody, this is Adam from Cal TV. Today I am here once again with Emery, except this time I'm with Matt and Dave. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great. great. Wonderful. Oh, Last time we caught up with you guys, you were on tour, uh, opening for Chiodos. Um, now you're headlining. How's it been so far? It's been really good. We haven't headlined for, it seems like, two years, so it's been really good and fun to play longer and mm -hmm. have people there just for us and to really enjoy our music. And fans that have been coming out to shows, you know, for years can really let us know by showing up and hanging out with us. So it's cool. It's cool. Now, you guys have gotten a lot of positive reactions from your new album, I'm sure. Uh, what would you say were your main influences musically? I think this uh, last record we had been listening to maybe less of the stuff that would be overall our main influences. Like, you know, like I guess we listened to certain stuff for just years and years and years till we were finally in a band and making music. And then after that point, getting out and playing music every night, we started just listening to totally different things and going back to like uh, listening to classic rock music and old older things and country and just you know quiet music and bluegrass and stuff like that since we're in the loud rock music all the time kind of thing every night and then it's always like it's just like a relief to listen to different kind of music even of course we still love hard and heavy and that kind of music stuff too but so we this, for this record we had listened to and probably influenced a lot more by more classic rock I would say basically so were there any um, musicians in particular that influenced say your guitars um, let's see I don't know I guess for guitar it's, it's, it's definitely been more of an approach of like uh, people from the set maybe 70s guitar players more so you know mm -hmm. I, would, I would say like um, not that I am ever big or have a big background in blues or Jimi Hendrix and stuff like that but I do like that stuff and I'd say that that kind of thing probably came out a little bit more just just trying to be a little bit more on the side of like uh, playing actual lead stuff that you could hear or pick out that kind of stands out apart from just a big heavy giant guitar track you know mm -hmm. more like that and what about the drums well, drumming was like the same thing we got an older drum set from the late 60s or 70s didn't, um, when you hear the record, it doesn't necessarily have that old sound, but it's kind of what we were trying to achieve. But um, I don't know. As, as far as playing styles, I think a, a lot of the drumming-wise, you could almost relate to '90s alternative, alternative rock a little more, at least in some underlying form somehow. But yeah. now we're in an age where the internet has done tremendous things for the, for the music industry. Um, how important, or how let's say, how is the internet? affected your live show and, and touring? Wow, I, I think the internet just, it, it almost changes everything about music. It's pretty much the, the number one thing behind music and how all information is, how people know things about what people think about. You know, like uh, before it'd be like, well, if the crowd was good, I mean, you might have met and talked to 15 people, but now we can go online. It's not always a good thing, but, you know, we can go online and read millions and millions of comments, infinite, about what people are saying about us or what they liked or what they didn't like and, and stuff like that. So it, it's almost like you have to try not to because you, sometimes you hear, hear criticism you don't want to hear or something. But we can, we can, we even put up a, a poll on our MySpace that just asked what kids wanted to hear, you know, even. And that, that's, so, I mean, it's, there's a t tons of, of, of input we get from our fans just if you just go read our MySpace comments or get the messages or stuff from my website. So it's a lot more feedback, which probably helps us a whole lot to be able to be more in touch with our fans more than having to shake every kid's hand every night to find out what they think, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you very much, guys. It was All a right. pleasure having you. And good luck on the rest of your tour. Yeah. And if Emory is stopping through your town, be sure to check them out on their headlining tour this year. And be sure to pick up I'm Only a Man, which is in all record stores now. Thanks for watching Cal TV.